What is a geometric sequence? In this video tutorial, you learn Number 1. Its definition Number 2. The formulas used And number 3. How you can apply it when solving problems Let's start with the definition in mathematics, a geometric progression, also known as a geometric sequence, is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed, non-zero number called the common ratio. The general form of a geometric sequence is certain as a, a times r, a times r raised to 2, a times r raised to 3, and so on. So, what are the formulas used? The first one is used when finding the common ratio. The formula is r is equal to a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. The second one is used to write the general formula of a geometric sequence. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Now that we know the formulas, let's use it. Here are a few examples. For our first example, the given sequence is negative 2, negative 4, negative 8, and negative 16. Find the tenth term of the sequence and its common ratio. First, we have to find the common ratio using the formula r is equal to a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. A sub 2 is negative 4 since it is the second term, and a sub 1 is negative 2 since it is the first term. So, a sub 2 or negative 4 divided by a sub 1 or negative 2 is positive 2. The common ratio will be positive 2. To solve for the tenth term, first we have to write the general formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. n will be 10 since we are looking for the tenth term. a sub 1 will be negative 2 since it is the first term, and r will be 2 because negative 4 divided by negative 2 is 2. Then plug these values to the formula. Our first step is to simplify 2 raised to 9. 2 raised to 9 is equal to 512, and if it's multiplied to negative 2, the product will be negative 1024. So, the final answer will be a sub 10 is equal to negative 1024. For our second example, the given sequence is 2, 6, and 18. Find the next three terms in its common ratio. Just like what we did in the previous example, all we need to do is divide the second term by the first term to get the common ratio. The second term of the sequence is 6 and the first term is 2. So 6 divided by 2 is positive 3 and that will be the common ratio. Now, let's look for the next three terms. To get the fourth term, multiply the third term with the common ratio. The third term is 18 and the common ratio is 3. So 18 times 3 is equal to 54. With this, let's try to compute for the fifth term and the sixth term. The fifth term will become 54 times 3 is equal to 162, and the sixth term will become 162 times 3 is equal to 486. Now, let's try to apply all of these in this word problem. The number of crayons collected from the factory multiplies by 3 every hour. If there are 90 crayons at 4 p.m., how many crayons are there at 6 p.m.? To solve for this, all we need to do is find and plug in the terms to the formula. We will denote a sub 1 as 90 since they collected 90 crayons at 4 p.m. a sub 2 and a sub 3 is unknown since we don't know how much crayons they collected at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Our ratio will be 3 since it is stated that the number multiplies by 3 every hour. And n will become 3 since we are finding the number of crayons at 6 p.m. or the third hour. Then, plug these terms into the formula. First, we have to simplify 3 raised to 2. 3 raised to 2 is 9, and when multiplied to 90, it will become 810. So, there are 810 crayons collected at the third hour or 6 p.m. And that is how you work with geometric sequences. Thanks for watching!